what is up everybody welcome back to another exciting video this is my 2012 lexus is 250 all-wheel drive In this video, I'm going to be talking about all of my likes and dislikes about this specific vehicle. But first, I'll start off with the dislikes. The first thing that I dislike about this car is the fact that it has Bluetooth, but it only has Bluetooth for phones. Now this is a 2012 model. You know, I understand if it was like 2009 and back, you know, but you know, it has Bluetooth, but the Bluetooth only works for phones. So if you want to use, you want to play music on your phones, you got to use the aux cable and you know, nothing wrong with that. It's not hard. I, that's what I use right now. That's what I'm using. Uh, another option is, you know, you can upgrade the screen to like the, aftermarket Android screen that way you can have Bluetooth wireless um, you can have you know Google Map uh, Apple CarPlay Android Auto and all that good stuff you know if you want you can spend about four or five hundred dollars I think that's how much they go for to upgrade to the screen but you know it's just a little bummer that you know they included bluetooth but bluetooth only for phone calls and not for music and other audios so that is my first dislike about this car now my second dislike would be the steering wheel you know don't get me wrong it's a decent size steering wheel but it's it's just too it looks too plain and too boring to me you know for a sports car i know this car was not you know probably meant to compete with like the uh, likes of bmws and stuff like that but i come from driving german cars so i expect more so to speak from other competitors especially competitors that are in the same class of you know vehicles so to speak the steering wheel is just a little boring for me but speaking of that, I will be upgrading the steering wheel depending on how long I keep the car. That would be my next mod. My next dislike, you know, it, it doesn't bother me that much, but uh, my next dislike would be, you know, all the vehicles from this generation of Lexus, the IS, the GS, you know, uh, they all have this shifter, like, you know, the way in which you shift gears and stuff like that, all this curve. I prefer the traditional way of back and forth, you know, like make it go straight back and straight forward. That's what I prefer. But again, I don't know if I could consider that an actual dislike, but I, I do kind of dislike it because, you know, if you're in a tight situation, you're trying to get out of gears and switch out of gear. You know, I don't like all this click, click, click. And then anyway, that's that's one of my dislikes about this vehicle. So the next one. OK, my next dislike is right here. When I first got this vehicle, uh, I quickly realized uh, that the transmission tunnel like has a bulge like right here like literally it, it sometimes it gets in the way of my foot uh of me driving it's also a good place to rest your foot i guess but i've never used it to rest my foot but it's just it kind of bothered me because coming from other cars the transmission tunnel is right in the middle you don't have this uh bulge again right here that's that gets in the way sometimes of your foot so 
that's another one of my dislikes. Another one of my dislikes would be that the, you know, the rear door does not have any storage area or any pockets. The front, the two front does, but the rear doesn't, you know, it's kind of a bummer, you know, because I have a kid. Um, and also, I just like extra space to put my stuff and it doesn't have that. It's not a big deal. I understand. I knew it had this issue before I bought the car. It, which is, it's not an issue. I knew that that didn't exist before buying the car. But, you know, that's just a little, a little dislike. I figure Lexus did that, you know, to make the car lighter, which is already is. This car is about 35, 3600 pound or if I'm wrong, please correct me in the comment, but between 34 to 3600 pounds uh, is the curve weight of this car, but correct me in the comment section if I'm wrong. Yeah. Another thing that I dislike about this car is that it has enough power. 204 or 206 or 205 horsepower it's more than enough for the average person driving around uh you know just you know it, it it's not a fast or super fast car don't get me wrong it it, it it's light I, prefer, I like the fact that lexus made this car very light and like it flies through a lot of things but i come from driving uh you know an audi s5 bmw 335 uh, f30 series the e90 e92 series um i come from driving other fast cars you know cars like that has 100 or even more uh horsepower than this car does and this is not a fast fast car for the people who buy these, I mean, you know, you can make them fast, you know, but you're going to have to spend a bit of money to achieve that. But that is my only dislike about this car. I bought the car seemingly based on the looks. I liked what the previous owner did to the exterior of the car, you know, make it look a little more modern by, you know, installing the full IS bumper, front bumper, the rear bumper, um, you know, those 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 are the things that actually drew me to buying this car, and I, I felt like I overpaid for the car simply because of that. Uh, I did not pay attention to a lot of other things before buying the car, but nonetheless, I enjoy it. You know, it's been very reliable, very reliable. Uh, commuting from New York to New Jersey for work, it's been reliable. Other than me uh, blowing a tire on the turnpike the other day let me show you guys right here I had to put on this uh, the donut because I blew a tire on the turnpike during the the rainstorm that happened a few days ago a tire and so let me show you guys the tire and what happened to the tire but right here this is what happened to the tire as you can see completely exploded like look at that like there's nothing inside <laughs> literally the tire I hit a huge pothole on, on the New Jersey turnpike and the tire exploded and that my heart just stopped I was like Woo! for a second I was I was kind of devastated, you know, because first of all, my AAA expired, and I did not know how I was gonna get back to Staten Island from the Jersey Turnpike. But I ended up driving the car just like that. Um, that probably made the tire worse, but you know I wasn't gonna use the tire again anyway. So my AAA expired and. 
I could not get a a tow truck to me so I just ended up driving the car like 10 20 miles per hour all the way back across the bridge to New York and I had a friend of mine called him up he came to my rescue and another truck driver that was parked in the same area we were in helped us because uh, I didn't have any of my tools with me we ended up uh, just I just ended up putting a spare on and getting back home safely but again uh, I don't know if you guys know but I, I work at Lexus I am a tech yes I'm a mechanic it's crazy how I did not have any tools on me and that situation happened but it is what it is yeah so that's 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 pretty much one of my other dislikes. The car is not fast enough. Now, if if I want to make it faster, I will have to, you know, there are things that you could do. You could add a supercharger, I believe. Um, yeah, you can add a supercharger, uh, a tune. Our racing tune can uh, can add a few horsepower to this, or you can use a uh, you know to make the pedals more responsive. You can use pedal command, but mm, I don't know. Another thing I was thinking, if I'm gonna keep this car, I would just you know get a a replacement engine, or IS350 engine, put it in the, in this car basically, and just go from there. But I don't. I'm, I'm contemplating that. I'm also contemplating on selling the car. As I speak, the car is for sale for whoever is interested. Uh, New York, New Jersey area. You know, or wherever you're coming from. If you could get here and take the car and buy it, yeah. But. Another one of my dislikes is the wheel gap. I'm gonna get closer and show you guys. Um, I had um, a coilover on this car before well, when I bought it, but the coilovers were not installed properly, so I took them off and just went with stock because I was having so much problems, scraping everywhere, and the person who installed the coilovers did not measure it properly so one side was off by half an inch so the car was almost lopsided and it was so annoying so I bought new suspension and I replaced it with the stock ones now again my issue is my dislike is the wheel gap it's like a whole a whole hand bro like look at that um, again, if I keep this car, I will just, you know, either get bigger rims, bigger tires, uh, and spacers to bring out the tire a little more, you know, or just go with uh, the F Sport, the F Sport springs to lower the car back a little bit if I do end up keeping it. But I highly doubt that. I highly doubt that I'm going to keep this car long term. But that is my other issue right there. Okay. My other issue is the transmission. Um, something I noticed about the transmission on this car is that, like, when you're driving an auto, like, you can barely feel the transmission shift. Like, that was kind of concerning at first, coming from a, a V8, like where, you know, when when you when the car shifts, you feel it, even in auto, like, you know, you feel the shift. It's just, with the transmission on this, you barely feel the shift. It's smooth, don't get me wrong, it's smooth, but that's, it's a bit of a, you know, a bit of dislike, not that much. Um, another issue that I 
dislike about this car is because I've never driven a direct injection engine and the injection the injector or whatever they're very loud uh, when I first bought the car I had to call the previous owner and say hey I think the engine's knocking and she's like no the engine's not knocking it's fine and I realized that th this is how these cars run all of them all these direct injection engine there you know is very loud a very loud ticking noise uh it was a bit of an issue for me but i realized that they all run like that so the engine wasn't knocking it was perfectly fine and perfectly normal so yeah life is what you make it i should tell amazing i can't see a way out Another one of my dislike is that uh, this car has backup camera, but no backup sensor. I did not like that. I'm um, like, what's the point of having, you know, backup camera when you don't have backup sensors, you know, for, but, you know, this is how these cars came. So uh, <laughs> I did not know that uh, prior to buying the car. So. Yeah. I've been breaking rules. I've been making moves. But everything to prove now it's gone. Now I see it. Okay, so my last and final dislike about this generation of the IS250 is the turning radius. Don't get me wrong, the the turn the car is very responsive when it comes to turning. But the turning radius and the pedal response uh, takes like a second. You know, they work, but it takes like a second. Again, I, I can't compare this to like, you know, that German competitors because they're better at stuff like that. But um, they're, you know, if you want better turning on these cars, it's to upgrade to the uh, maybe like a Megan Racing. Um, toe arm you know or upper control arm and stuff like that it, it helps with the with the turning radius on these cars but yeah that that is my last and final dislike about my Lexus IS250 but you know you guys if you're owner of this vehicle, if you have one of these, let me know in the comment section what is your dislike and like about this vehicle. Again, like I'm not complaining. I love, I love this car. Um, you know, I don't like the problems that I had with it so far, like buying it in the condition that it was in. But I knew very well. You know, I took on the challenge, and yeah, and I'm still taking it on. I fixed a lot of things I was wrong with this car. And there's only a few minor things that's left to to be done on this car. There's no check engine light. I need to replace that sensor in the rear and the wheel bearing as well. I did the two front wheel bearings. I did a bunch of stuff, suspension-wise, brakes. Um, yeah, but this car right now we have about 153 thousand miles on the car now again these lights the brake abs light and the tire light is due the brake and abs light is due to an attraction light is due to the the driver rear sensor uh sometimes the car read the sensor sometimes it doesn't read it so i, I decided to just replace the the rear hub the bearing and just you know see if that you know that's definitely going to fix the issue i know for a fact and the tire light is due to my spare tire being on for the time being until i replace the tire which will be tomorrow but you guys let me know in the comment section what are you some of your likes and dislikes about this vehicle if you own one let me know in the comment section Thank you guys again for watching and I will catch y'all in the next exciting IS250 video. Peace out.